The warm weather may leave some wanting a nice cold treat, and you're in luck. Dairy Queens across the region have been offering a free cone to customers all day. A Dairy Queen manager in Pikeville says this is the first time the store has ever given out free ice cream that she can remember. They tell us they prepared to serve more customers as they hear about the offer. It's more ice cream, more cones. We've got sprinkles, dip, anything you might want on their cone, we've got it. Officials do not know if they'll have another free cone day anytime soon. So it sounds like better take advantage of it, just like you better take advantage of this nice weather yeah. while it lasts. I, I know what I'm doing after the news. <laughs> I'm running across the street, I'm getting a cone, and I'm going to sit out on the picnic table on the side of the building and eat it. Sounds like a plan. It's yeah. going to be a nice evening out there. <laughs> really nice up in Moorhead right now. Check out this shot from Moorhead State University. Sun is starting to get a little low in the evening sky. It's about an hour and a half away from sunset or so and pinpoint doppler is nice and dry if you have any plans tonight grilling out playing with the kids going to get an ice cream cone it's going to be a-okay weather wise now tomorrow st patrick's day maybe running out of luck a little bit as a few showers will be dotting old pinpoint doppler since i can't wear green tomorrow the radar is going to wear a little green for me Here's a look at what's going on. 70s and upper 60s across the region as we speak. Those temperatures will hold steady for the next couple hours, eventually heading down into the mid to low 60s tonight. High pressure control of our weather right now. There's that green I was talking about on the radar. A little bit of rain off to our north, part of a cold front, which will dip down to the south and the east and roll into eastern Kentucky tomorrow. Now, it's not a lot, but it will be enough to bring a few showers. The winds were really gusty earlier today. We had some gusts up around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Right now, still sustained uh, right around 10 miles per hour thereabouts uh, for most of the region, although not quite as bad over in Jackson. Only uh, three mile per hour sustained winds right now. However, that wind brought in some really warm air. Check out the warm temperatures today. High in Jackson, 78 degrees, actually tied the record back from 1995. London just a little bit below the record, though. Uh, their record was 77. They only topped out today at 75. Here's a look at the forecast as we go into tomorrow. Rain chances mainly tomorrow in the afternoon. The temperatures stay in the upper 50s, low 60s most of the day tomorrow. The uh, temperature not going to fluctuate much as those clouds roll in, and they will really be on the thicker side tomorrow as that front dips down. Now you can see not a lot of moisture with it. Just a few hit or miss showers is all we have to deal with. And then we will see a better chance of rain Thursday as a little stronger system from the southwest comes in. Now, it's not looking like a ton of rain right now, but just off and on showers throughout the day, Thursday and Friday. So enjoy this warm fall at last, my friends. Colder weather is on the way. This is the warmest weather we have in the seven-day forecast, unfortunately. But it's not looking too terribly cold. This cooler. We'll see temperatures tomorrow into the 50s and 60s. And then as we go on in towards the end of the week, a little bit cooler than that. Upper 40s on Thursday. Uh, we just kick off spring on Friday and temperature is going to be right around 50 uh, with some showers around. Uh, March showers bring April flowers maybe. I don't think that's how that goes, but uh, anyway. <laughs> It rhymes. And it works. <laughs> and then uh, the weekend not looking too bad. And I uh, also wanted to give a big shout out to the kids at Inez Elementary. We took the weather class out there today and had a great time. All right, Jane, thank you very much. Next in sports here from the number one seeded Kentucky Wildcats.